Hello, my name is James Vadas, and with me is the captain of the Yale gymnastics team, Camilla Opperman. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So, looking back at last season, uh, the team had its best score at the ECAC championship since 2003. Can you talk about a little bit about what last season was like and the expectations for this year? Yeah, last season was an incredible season. Um, right off the bat, we opened at our home opener with the highest score um, in school history to open, which was really incredible, and that set the tone for the whole season. So this year, we kind of were just focusing on using that momentum. The team changes a lot. We lost a lot of really great seniors, um, but we also got an incredible freshman class. And you personally, I mean, you had one of the best performances in school history at those championships. <laughs> Thank you. A 9.9 on the floor. Uh, tied for fifth best all time in Yale history. I mean, how do you even try to top that in your senior season and <laughs> one up that? Yeah, um, I think just the whole team's focus, not just me personally, but a lot of us are really focusing on upgrading our routines because it's not enough to just hit a perfect routine anymore. It's about pr hitting the perfect routine, but also doing really high difficulty. Um, so, especially on floor, a lot of us are working on upgrading our tumbling passes, so doing harder things, but also trying to maintain that perfect form. Right, and for those that follow the team on social media, Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, whatever it is, the hashtag 14 get 15 and 16 has been everywhere. Yes, So it has. what exactly does the hashtag mean for those that don't know? I know I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of questions and I know that we're pretty aggressive on social media. Um, so there are 14 girls on the team this year and Yale has had 14 Ivy titles in the past and so we're getting our 15th Ivy title, that's our goal. It's gonna happen. Um, so we're getting our 15th Ivy title in the year 2016. Very catchy. And for those less familiar with collegiate gymnastics, you know, you have a, these early season meets that you're having, you just had one with Penn. So sort of what is the mentality? Yeah, gymnastics is a really different sport than a lot of other sports because I know when you're playing directly against another team, you're really focused on their tactics and like how they're actually doing. Whereas gymnastics is really just focused inwardly. Um, so we go into every meet, regardless of the opponent, one, planning to beat them, but two, just focusing on our own gymnastics and what we can do. Um, we, during the competition, don't even watch the other team. Um, it's distracting, and mm -hmm. so we're just really focused on ourselves. And knowing this is your last season at Yale and with your teammates, I mean, what are you trying to cherish about this final run? Yeah, it's I've just had such an amazing time at Yale and on YGT. Um, it's been so amazing. There's one other senior, Brittany, and the two of us talk about this a lot. Um, we're really sad to be leaving, obviously, but I think it kind of creates a sense of urgency in both of us like okay this is our last chance to win ivies this is our last chance to win ecacs so we're really focused on just leaving it all out on the table and really having the best season ever um and what's the information for those that want to come out to the meet for this weekend oh well yeah the meet is this saturday at 1 p.m um it's in Payne whitney gymnasium in the john Jay Lee amphitheater mm -hmm. um where volleyball and basketball play we love to have fans. We like people when they're rowdy. So, yeah, hopefully right. to see you there. All right, awesome. <laughs> and so, a great meet coming up this weekend. And thank you again. And for YTV, this is James Badass. The news didn't stop. Here are your top stories from winter break. Last week, the chairman and CEO of PepsiCo, Indra Nui, became the School of Management's most generous donor. Though the School of Management has not disclosed the size of Nui's donation to the school, this donation combined.